Hey, it's the Terminion Hero here, and we're playing some more Donkey Kong Country 3. We're about to finish World 6, starting off with Ropey Rumpus, and then heading off to the boss. So we've got another one of these cliff levels. Let's get rid of that buzz, just for the heck of it, and then this other buzz wants to get revenge on us, apparently. Yeah, so we're gonna have to dodge a lot of these guys, it looks like. There's also something over there. We're gonna wanna bring some TNT down to get that bonus barrel. Our TNT is right here. I'm gonna say let's just jump for it. Well, that was unlucky. And we don't want to get unlucky, because I stopped playing to, like, you know, go to sleep and stuff between this video and the last. So my lives are back down to a very small amount. Are you kidding me? You kidding me? There we go, and we even got a hidden bear coin that time. Find the coin! I will! And I won't get stung or cut up by these bees, except that I will. Yeah, if you jump far enough, I don't think you should have to worry about getting hit by those guys. I just didn't jump that far last time. Okay, so I guess the key here is speed. Because I just keep going too slow and getting caught by those guys. Like I'm getting caught between the circles instead of in the middle of the circles. There we go. Man, do... No, we died. I was thinking, do we really only have 14 bonuses to go? But then I remembered, I uh, know we've got uh, 24 bonus coins to go. So we've still got a ways. Anyways, let's not get totally destroyed this time. We don't have to do the bonus now. Get in that bear coin, wherever it is. Maybe I'm not getting it. There we go. That timing is really tight. I am surprised by how tight this timing is. Nice little hidden bear coin there. I mean, it's just a bunch of bananas, so I shouldn't have to go for it, but I will. There we go. That was some nice maneuvering. Whoa! You've really got to watch out for these guys. Checkpoint! Hooray! We have made a progress. Oh, 
All right, so it looks like there's a way to get back down from here, but that there's no real reason to take it, which is why we're taking it. There's a life there. Oh, wow, we escaped with our life, too. I'm surprised. I don't know if I ever got that life before. I assume I did, and I'm just not remembering it. But that said, I definitely don't remember it. Nope. Just completely failed that. That looks like it's really tricky. I don't remember this game getting this hard. There we go, that actually wasn't that bad. It's not bad when you know what you're doing. I wouldn't have expected to find hidden bananas there, but I guess it's there. And hey look, we've got Perry. I'm gonna get Dixie out. Perry, the parallel bird, you will probably not survive this ordeal. Hey, Perry just found a secret for me. With a lot of stuff. All right, we got everything from there. Let's just go take the safe route again. The relatively safe route. Oh, bye, Perry. Perry died after us. He's like, I can't live without my Kitty Kong. Seriously? Like, seriously? All right, back on track here. Got our parry again. We can grab that life again. Got an infinitely respawning life. That's awesome. Oh, thanks for getting that banana I missed, parry. Got our Kong letters, and let me guess, a steel barrel? No, a bonus barrel. Okay, well, we really ha only have one shot at this. Unless we want to backtrack to where Perry was. Grab 15 bananas. We'd better do this. I'm glad I got Dixie out. Because this is actually really scary. Stop going to the opposite end, please. Oh my gosh. Stop going to the opposite end. Thank you. Oh my gosh, we somehow made it through that one. But, I don't remember getting the DK coin. Yeah, we did not get the DK coin. What the heck? Where was it? That's definitely death down there. Where could it have been? 
I feel like I explored absolutely everywhere. But I clearly didn't. We got all the bonuses at least. But where the heck was that DK coin? Not here, this just goes down to earlier. But I do feel like I need to drop down to it. I just have no clue where that is. Are you serious? Come on. I don't get it. How could I have missed the DK coin? Like, what happens if we keep going down this way? It looks like it just drops off to the earlier part of the level. Yeah, that's definitely what it does. I don't get this. Where the heck could it have been? Well, we made it to our checkpoint again, but that doesn't help me find secrets. Alright, there's a barrel up there for some reason. I'm not really sure why, but I guess I'll check it out. Did we find that barrel before? I feel like we might have. Oh no, it was this barrel down here that we saw, wasn't it? Or was it? There is ground down here. Here's the DK coin. That is deviously hidden. Thankfully, we can just start and select out of here. Now we can move on to the boss, Barbos at Barbos's Barrier. And we're fighting this boss as Engard. Yeah, it's a big one of these guys. So we need to shoot these green ones into those pink ones there. Now we can hit the boss himself. And then he moves on to the next area where we have a new way of fighting him. These things will try to home on to us. And we just do the same thing. We make sure those pink things get hit. Now on to the final phase, which will actually take multiple hits. We need to dodge these little spikes here. And attack them whenever we have an opportunity to. Thank you. 
We probably could attack him more often here, but I would prefer to dodge all the spikes first. Okay, he shot out more spikes than before that time. But we won. And we get sucked through the drain pipe. And that is World 6 complete. We have actually completely finished every world we've been to so far. Which I think is pretty cool. Hey, look, the flower grew. Does he have anything to say right now? Since I've been unable to grow or study plants, yeah, he, he's just saying the same thing as before. But we can collect that flower now. Now let's go back to him. Yes, I moved up here to get away from the smell of the machines, but it's been too dry to grow anything. You've got one, a perfect Flupperus Pentalus Pungus. Would you let me have it? I'd be ever so grateful. Well, it's up to you, but it would mean so much to me. Alright, let's actually give it to him now. I love plants, don't you? They're so beautiful. This picture reminds me of those I can't grow anymore. You are too generous, kitty. Here, have this. Uh, Bananas goldus flutteris. Er, um, I meant banana bird. I finished studying its abilities. Some of them are quite magical, I'll have you know. Yeah, I bet they are. We've got some magical banana birds. And they may help us out sometime in the future. You know, I never went, you know what, no. Well, I never went back to talk to the cannon guy after we used the cannon. What a cracking noise, it was good to hear her again. I say, would you like to have another try, kitty? Nah. Anyways, we want to stop by Blunder and Funky here. We probably don't need to stop by Funky, but we will anyways. You're still stuck? Then again, there's no way you'd ever think of circling around the rocks. Get out! Get out of my shack and stop making a monkey out of me! So yeah, he basically gave away the whole thing there. You unlock the Lost World by circling around those rocks, but we're still not going to do it yet. We're going to hold off until we've got all the last dialogue out of Blunder there. You're still 11 coins short of the deposit for my top gear. You know, I'm curious about something. What happens if we take the turbo ski around here? And then go to Funkies. Whoa, bogus stocking, kitty. Get my crate back in here before that clumsy bazaar parks it on the rocks. That's some nice dialogue there. I'm glad I thought to do that so we could see that. For now, though, let's just head up to... Uh, the last world here, not counting the lost world, Chaos Core. And we'll go with the first, uh, the first level here, Conveyor Rope Clash.
And this looks a lot like those jungle levels in Donkey Kong Country 2's Lost World. But yeah, these are the conveyor ropes. Hello, little hidden DK barrel. I'm not missing you. So yeah, we've got these guys here. I missed the B, though. Could have took that guy out. Got our K. So yeah, we've got porcupines that that roll now. They're almost more like a certain hedgehog than a porcupine. Collect 30 stars! Okay, I will. As always, do I ever fail you? Okay, maybe sometimes. Whoa, there's a hidden star up there. That could have been bad, but it wasn't. We had plenty of time for that. Okay, looks like we can drop onto this spot from high up to get something. But I don't think that that's actually- wait a minute. Because that's how it works in Donkey Kong Country 1, but here we can just use Kitty. We can just throw Kitty and get stuff out of there. That's why I switched to Kitty, because I'm like, if I'm gonna lose someone, I wanna lose Kitty. Nice little hidden bear coin there that we totally don't need. Got a nice N from a bounty bird. Yeah, there was no way that was gonna reach. Yeah, I, my gut said that there was a bonus barrel there. I just seem to remember that. I think you can just barely see the barrel through the leaves and the trees. But anyways, we've got to collect 15 bananas. There seems to be no danger unless you count that hole that there's no way we're gonna fall through as danger. <laughs> Anyways, with that done, let's move on. We still haven't got the DK coin for this level. But I'm sure it's up ahead. Darn it, I thought Dixie might be able to save me there, but not quite. Wait, really? Why was that rope pushing me to the right when it was clearly moving left? That was dumb. I don't understand why that happened. Well, we got ourselves a life there. So that's nice to have this late in the game, especially since I've been having to turn my system off, thereby resetting my lives. 
Really? Come on. Whoa, why? No, I did not jump down. What the heck? I didn't press that. You have to be holding down and then press jump in order to jump off of those ropes. And I did not do that. The heck, game? Really, it was just moving too fast. Thankfully, there's a DK barrel here, and I almost immediately lost my Kong anyways. Yeah, I knew there had to be stuff down there. It was two lives. I think we lost more lives than that trying to figure that out. Here's our coin, and we almost had death there. Alright, so this is gonna be one of these deals where we want the barrel to go slowly. And here we are at the end. We did it. Now before we finish this off, let's check out Baffle's code room. Hey, hi there Dixie, how are you doing? My name's Baffle, the master of code. I've got a problem at the moment. I can't break a code I've been working on. Maybe I should reflect on it. Reflect on it, you say? I still can't break this code. I have to keep looking into it. Looking into it, you say? It sounds like we need a mirror. Too bad we gave ours away. Hey Barter, can we have our mirror back? Hey Dixie, do you want your mirror back? Okay, but I've got a feeling you'll be back. Well, if you want it back, then it's gonna cost you. That's right, ten coins. Beauty doesn't come cheap, you know. Still want it? Take a hike, buster. That's like something you'd say to money bags. That's no way to talk to somebody as good looking as me. Yes, you swindler, that also sounds like something you'd say to money bags. Well, okay then, I was getting bored of being so neat and tidy. What happens if I bring the mirror back to him? I thought you were supposed to smash the mirror to get bad luck. Look at me. Okay, then. So yeah, apparently we did still need bear coins, just we didn't need that many. I'm sure the answer to my problem is staring me in the face, but I just can't see it. Hey Dixie, is that a mirror you've got there? If it is, could I have it to solve my code? It's a picture frame! That's a shame. It might have been the answer to my problems. 
Oh, that's another reason behind the whole connection to the Banjo-Kazooie world, because there's all these bears here. Hello again, what a problem it is, churning out the same thing, whatever. Hey, look at this. I, it was a riddle written backwards. It says, to open the gate at the two stones, make eight. Well, what do you reckon that means? Can you figure this one out, Dixie? Yeah, yeah, figure eight at the two stones. We get it. The two stones right there in the middle of the map. Let me, let me look at that <laughs> again. Oh my gosh, I can't read backwards that quickly. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, so that's gonna be it for this video. In the next video, we will be headed further through K uh, the final world here. Starting off with Creepy Caverns. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.